Hi everyone, welcome to Royal Logos. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we will design a logo for a real estate company by using the golden ratio principle. So let's continue with a short logo design brief. First of all, we have the logo name, which is Mammoth Residential. And about the services, the client says that we only deal with huge and vast residential properties. We are providing guidance and assistance to our clients to proceed smoothly and effortlessly in selling their properties. And about the logo name idea, the client says that we are dealing only with large scale properties. That's why we decided on the business name Mammoth. And about the do's and don'ts of the logo design concept, the client says, we want to look unique and different. That's why we are not expecting something like a roof design or any kind of building design. We are interested in a clean and minimal design of a mammoth. But you can also experiment with a unique initial letter M. And the final design must follow the golden ratio principle. About the colors, the client has chosen solid teal color tones. The client has given us the basic idea about the logo design, which is a clean and minimal mammoth design or initial letter M. So by keeping these points in mind, let's continue with the sketching process. After experimenting with different sketches, I have decided to design the logo based on this sketch as it has a clean and minimal visual and also we can easily design this logo by using the golden ratio. So let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. First of all, if your Inkscape preview is it appearing like this, then go to view and select custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties. Select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then select the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. And now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for almost each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu and second one is align and distribute menu. Then simply press 5 on the keyboard or click on this icon to zoom to fit page. Now we will import our sketch in Inkscape. So go to file and select import and simply select your image. To place it at the center of your page, go to align and distribute menu. From the relative to select page, then click on this icon which says center on vertical axis and also center on horizontal axis. Then go to fill and stroke menu and select the opacity of your image to 30%. And to lock this image, simply right click and select lock selected object. As you know that we have to design this logo by using the golden ratio. So first of all, we will design the basic geometry that follows the golden ratio. Select the rectangle tool and hold down the control key to draw a perfect scale. We doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon. And to apply it a stroke color, simply hold down the shift key and click on this blue color. Then in the fill and stroke menu, simply go to stroke style, select the units to pixels and select the width to 4. Right click, select duplicate. And now we want to place this corner of the duplicated copy at this corner. So simply enable the snapping options by clicking on this icon, then click on this one, also on this one which says snap to rectangle corners and drag this duplicated copy at this corner. 
then drag a grid line from this ruler like this. Again select the rectangle tool, hold down the control key and draw a square from this corner to this grid. Again drag a grid line from this vertical ruler, then again hold down the control key and draw a square from this corner to this one. Now draw another grid line from this horizontal ruler. Again hold down the control key and draw a square from this corner to this one. And this is our basic geometry that follows the golden ratio. Now we will draw circles within this geometry. So select the create ellipse tool and draw a circle from this corner to this one. Also for the other squares, Now we only need these circles to design our logo. So simply select the unwanted shapes and press delete. Then select all of these circles, go to align and distribute menu, then select center on vertical axis and also center on horizontal axis. Now we will simply arrange these grid lines as per our sketch. Then enable another snapping option which says snap to quadrant points. Then adjust these circles as per the geometry of the sketch. Hold down the control key and reduce the dimensions like this. Then hold down the shift key and deselect this outer circle. Then simply select this one and drag it at this position. Select this one and drag it at this position. Then right click, select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this quadrant. Then hold down the control key and drag it towards the bottom. Now we are almost done with the basic geometry of our logo design. Now simply hold down the control key and drag this circular icon like this. Also this one. And to remove these lines, simply click on this icon which says switch to arc. Then select this circle, again hold down the control key and drag this circular icon at this position and also for this one, like this. Select this one, again hold down the control key and drag it like this. Also for this one. Simply click on this icon to switch to arc. Now select all of these shapes, go to path and select object to path. Again go to path and select combine. Then drag a grid from this vertical ruler to this corner. Also for this one and this one. Then select the pen tool and simply complete the shapes like this. Then go to fill and stroke menu and in the stroke style select the value of width to 70 pixels. Go to path and select stroke to path. Now we doesn't need this reference image so right click and select unlock and simply press delete on the keyboard. And to hide these grid lines simply left click on the ruler. And now it's time to write the name of the logo. So select the edit text tool and write the name of the logo which is Mammoth. Select the font to prompt and simply select the weight to semi bold. Again select the type tool and select the spacing between the alphabets to three points. Then right click, select duplicate, again select the text tool and write the slogan which is residential. Select the text weight to normal 
and increase the spacing to 10. And now we will apply the colors. Simply go to fill and here we have the option for the color code. Simply write the value to 00BF77. Then go to align and distribute menu. Select all of these shapes and click on this icon which says center on vertical axis. And now we will check the feasibility of our logo in both colored and dark backgrounds. And our logo is working fine in both colored and dark backgrounds. And this is for today's logo design process by using the golden ratio. You can also share your thoughts about the design in the comment section. And if you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.